Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you my Tinker's Construct mod spotlight specifically for Minecraft 1.18. The mod pack that I'm going to be using is uh, all the mod 7 since it's a kitchen sink pack. I've already knocked out some of the vanilla stuff and what we're going to do today specifically is going to be uh, an organized episode of beginning Tinker's Construct with tools up to making the smeltery. So to start Tinker's Construct, uh, it's pretty simple. All we're going to need are sticks, planks, logs, cobblestone, and a chest. And uh, you can use any planks or logs that you choose. I'm going to be using mineral logs for this example, since Tinker's Construct does take on the leg color of whatever uh, block type you decide to choose to go with. So the first item that we need to make is going to be these patterns. So let's see, let's make 27 of them sounds good. And then what we can do is uh, make the crafting station. So for that, we need a log. We can put a pattern above it and it makes the crafting station and it specifically has mineral log as its legs. So let's put this guy down right here. Looks pretty cool. With this dude, what we can do is we can make the next item which is the Tinker Station. For that, we just need to use the planks and patterns. It'll make us the Tinker Station, which also uses the color of the, the planks, which I think is pretty sweet looking. The third item is the part builder. This one's fairly simple, planks and patterns as well. So we'll put two of them here, two of them here, and that makes us the part builder also with the legs, same color. Uh, now, what I like to add is a chest. So if you add a chest on uh, the side that is attached to the crafting station, when you select your crafting station, not only will you be connected to all of the tables that are connected, but the crafting station will be connected to the chest. So you can put stuff in the chest and then be able to swap in between. I believe it's the same thing if you get rid of this guy and you move it to the part builder. If it's touching the part builder, you'll be able to swap in between uh, the chest and the part builder. So if you wanted to, you could put two chests, one here, one here, and they'll be separate so that you can access them this way. But what I prefer to do is uh, I'll, I'll, I like putting the chest behind the crafting station and then putting the part builder in a square like this. If you do it this way, uh, both the crafting station has access to the chest and the part builder has uh, access to the chest at the same time. I like that. This chest, I really don't end up putting a lot of stuff inside of it. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be the molds and extra parts and stuff that I use uh, for the smeltery, but that's a little bit later on. You guys don't have to worry about that yet. The patterns, they go into the part builder right here. And then they give you choices. You can use up the patterns to be able to make each of these items. And if you look on the right hand side, it shows you the pattern cost. Uh, so if we put in planks, for example, pattern cost of one means it'll use one plank to be able to make this item. Some of them are going to be bigger, like the uh, the large plate is four, the uh, broad axe is eight. So it all depends. Uh, you can start with wooden tools and build yourself a wooden pick. Uh, so let's do that real quick. So we need a pickaxe head for that. We need a binding for that. And we need a tool handle for that. And then we can go over here to the Tinker Station. This has the presets right here. So right here we have uh, a crazy item that I can't pronounce, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, a, a, a shovel and a pickaxe put together. But what we want is going to be the uh, the pickaxe itself, regular pickaxe. This one, you can see it has one item that's different. Instead of a binding, it has this circular item. So what is that? It's a round plate. So I'm guessing it's going to be a, a shovel type item. Yeah, so 1.18 removes the shovel piece and adds a circular piece which is called the round plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick to making a basic pickaxe. So we can shift click these guys in here and that makes us our wooden pickaxe. 
So you have a choice. You can either uh, make wooden tools from vanilla to be able to gather some cobblestone, or you can make yourself uh, a wooden pick from Tinkers immediately if you felt like you wanted to. Um, but as soon as you upgrade into a wooden tool, you'll be able to get stone, and then you'll be able to switch these guys out. So uh, I like to keep my tool handle as uh, as stone, since I'm never 100% sure. In 1.12, the uh, durability would go down if you made this, uh, the tool handle out of stone. So I like to keep it out of wood. Uh, later on, we're going to be making slime steel and slime wood, which have uh, like an attached mending moss ability to it. So over time, it repairs a little piece of the tool, and I do really like that. But now that we have stone, we can switch out at least the tool binding and the pickaxe head. The pickaxe head is the important part. That's the one that determines the mining level. So to upgrade these tools, all we need to do is go back into the Tinker Station, put the pickaxe in, and then we can put these two. Let's see, can we do both at the same time? Can't do both at the same time, so we'll do one at a time. So now we have a stone pickaxe, and everybody knows what the pickaxe does. Uh, we can also make the mattock if we wanted to. So one thing that I really do love about the stone mattock is that you can use this guy as a shovel, but also if you right click with it, it can till the ground. Uh, and that is something that means you don't have to make the uh, the hoe from vanilla. Uh, you can just have uh, a stone mattock cover both the shovel and the hoe. Uh, we have our stone pickaxe. We can make a regular axe uh, out of an axe head. Let's see. Let's put this in here. We can make uh, an axe head, a binding, and we can make a tool handle. And that will make us a uh, a tinker's axe so that we can chop down some trees. I tend to usually skip the sword since as soon as we get to the uh, the tinker's anvil we can make the cleaver which in my opinion is a better melee weapon to use. Uh, I skip the knife as well because I honestly don't really see a purpose for it. Uh, the comma is one of the items that I usually overlook but let's make the comma now so that don't don't forget. So what's great about the comma is uh, it can replace your shears. So we'll be able to shear things like this bee nest, for example. We can grab our honeycombs. We can shear leaves so that we can get leaves. Uh, and we can shear grass just in case we need grass for some kind of uh, crafting in the future. All right, so last but not least, the most important thing about Tinker's Construct, in my opinion, is going to be these repair kits. Uh, the repair kits... To repair your items on the fly, uh, you'll be able to make these uh, repair kits, but they have to be the same uh, material type as your main uh, tool part. So the pickaxe head is stone, so you have to use stone repair kits as an example. Uh, these dudes, they do require uh, blank patterns for each repair kit, which is kind of a bummer, uh, but luckily for us, sticks and planks are pretty easy to come by so let's see let's split these in half make 45 and we can make some more stone kits which makes crazy sound effects but we have 24 stone repair kits so if we go down and we start mining let's let me vein mine something real quick to show you guys uh let me head down here actually into the house and into the basement that down here and down and I'll go ahead and I'll vein mine to show you guys how uh, the tool will eventually break but not disappear like vanilla tools that's something that I really like uh, super frustrating for me because I started uh, modded before vanilla and I got used to tinkers tools so here we have some andesite this is great for uh, saving up for create so let's go ahead and vein mine boom Durability went completely gone. Uh, so let's see. Let me drop a torch. Let me vein mine a little bit more. There we go. It broke. So now it's broken. We can't use it anymore, but it hasn't disappeared. If we put the repair kits in, 
we can repair the tool and it'll be right back to normal. So we can just continue vein mining if we really wanted to. And uh, we can keep repairing the tools on the fly like this. Uh, later on, when we make the, uh, the seared heater and we can start using our ores that we gather, uh, mainly iron, we can upgrade the tool head to iron and that will allow us to uh, mine more things and cast them out and change the tool heads so that they can just become more and more OP. And I'll also talk about the upgrades. We have three and we have one ability that we can attach to these guys. Uh, mainly uh, the first ability or the first upgrade that I would attach to it is adding a diamond to the diamond tip so that the durability goes up by a lot. And then uh, after that, we can get into making a smeltery controller and we can get into uh, making the foundry, which I'm super excited about, and the Tinker's Anvil with all the advanced tools and uh, modifiers like Fortune and Silky. I'm super excited about those. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.